Interactive and animated maps are great for showing change over time. And the global pandemic has only made them more prevalent. But map makers of the past still had tricks of their own. 18th century publishers commonly sold a variety of maps of battles. For instance, the Battle of Minden, fought in 1759 as part of the Seven Years' War, appeared on maps ranging from small magazine items to large commemorative pieces. But as a reader of a map of a battle, one of the things you want to know most is how the battle changed over time. How did it start? How did it finish? And what happened in between? So how does this map communicate the stages of the battle? Troops are coded by shape and color to show the type of troop and their allegiance, and lines and arrows show their engagement. But both of those methods collapse time into a single layer. How else might a map show these changes? What do you notice as we look at this map from a new angle? Flaps, literal layers on the map. These two flaps let you toggle between phases of the central battle around the city of Ninden. The top shows the end of the battle, and the bottom shows the beginning. Moving maps could be portable as well. A paper gif of sorts. This postcard laments the plans to divide up what had been the Kingdom of Hungary into the country of Hungary with new borders. It was published after World War I in a variety of languages and sent all over the globe. If you're wondering how it works, we can see inside another copy that has come loose. An inner rotating wheel drives the moving pieces. <laughs>